Hello, and welcome to this quick workout using a mini ball or a small Pilates ball. Take a moment to prepare your space, grab your mat, along with your small stability ball, you're gonna also want a yoga block. Now, if you don't have these at home, you can always use pillows. For this one, you wanna use kind of a fluffier pillow or a bolster type pillow. And this can be any type of pillow. We're just gonna hold this in between our legs for a few exercises. Now we're going to start with a quick warm up, just a few breaths to get us in touch with our bodies. And then we're going to start with our circuit and it's going to move pretty fast. So let's find our way to seated. Finding a nice seated position, you can put your equipment off to the side. Legs out in front of you. Grab onto your shins. You're going to inhale, sit up tall. Find your back bend. Exhale, round and rock back. And just think about how you're breathing. So inhaling through the nose the best that you can. And then exhaling with a little bit of sound. And as we exhale, we want to draw the core in and create this flexion through the spine. <sighs> Inhale, up on the sit bones. Use your arms. Grab whatever part of the legs you need to. Exhale and flex. <sighs> and just one more like that. Connecting our breath with our movement. Starting to really tune into our bodies and how we're breathing and connecting. And then go ahead and sit up tall. Let's extend the right leg, fold the left leg in, circle the arms up, make sure your hips are nice and even, and then right arm down, left arm reaches up and over. Breathe into that left rib. As you exhale, think about drawing the right side of the belly in, bring it back to center. Let's do the other side. Being patient with how you're breathing, staying curious about what you're feeling in your body as you breathe, exhale center. Bend your right knee. Exhale, go ahead and fold over that right leg. Relax your head. Breathe into the back of the body. Exhale, scoop the abs in and roll it up. And then we'll do the other side. So let's extend the left leg, fold the right leg in. Make sure your hips are even, nice and grounded. Take the arms up. And then drop your left arm down, right arm up and over. Soften that elbow and that shoulder. Open up through that right rib. Exhale, bring it back to center. Other side. Remember how you are breathing. It matters. It helps you connect to your core. An active exhale, <sighs> make some sound with it. Back to center, bend the left knee. Think about scooping your abs in as you fold over your leg. And then as in this folded over position, try to breathe into the back and sides of the ribs because there's plenty of space there. And as we get into core work, exhale, draw those abs in, roll it up. As we get into our core work, right, we got to hold the front of the abs in tight. And so we got to utilize the back and sides of the ribs to breathe into. Okay, we are going to get started. The way this workout is going to work is we're going to do 30 second intervals of each exercise. We're going to run through the whole workout twice. Really quick transitions. Our first move is called a forward roll. All you need is your ball. Legs out in front of you, ball in between the legs, and our timer is going to start in three. Hands on your ball or your pillow. Find your sitting bones, bend the knees. Exhale, nod your chin and draw those abs in as you roll forward. Keep your weight in your sit bones. Breathe into the back and sides of the ribs. Exhale, use your abs, press down into your ball and roll it up. And do that again. Inhale here. Exhale, we want pelvic floor lifting, abs lifting. We flex through the ribs. The weight stays in the sit bones. We want to breathe into the back and sides of the ribs. Exhale, go ahead and roll it up. Ooh. All right, that's our 30 seconds. We're going into mermaid next. Swing your legs over to the left. Bring your ball over to this right side. Draw those abs in and then lean over. Now, find a position you can maintain. Knit up the ribs, pull the core in, shoulders down. Your left hand can come to your forehead and we're gonna do little pulses. Now, this is not about how far you can go. This is about where, what is your position that you can maintain core engagement, that you can still breathe. And can you get a little lighter on that right arm? So it's less about your right arm and it's all about your abs. We got five and four. Soften your face, relax your jaw, bring it back to center. Give yourself a big counter stretch. And then we'll switch to the other side. Swing your feet around. We'll start in four, three. Take your breath and 30 seconds. Here we go, other side. Inhale, rib cage so that you can exhale and keep the tummy tight. Shoulders down, soften the face. The thing about core strength is you really, you got to stay focused, right? You got to oh, learn how to direct your breath. Keep the front of the abs drawing in. We got six, five. Sometimes it's helpful to touch the body. You'll notice I'm like, okay, what are my pieces doing here? Three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Find a quick counter stretch. All right. Grab your yoga block this time. You're going to wedge your ball behind your back. Yoga block between your thighs. 
take your exhale and try to squish your ball behind you. So arrange that. Nice. Bring your fists together at your chest. Make sure your abs are in, shoulders are down, legs are hugging together. And now you're going to draw a little mini circle. And I want you to really focus on drawing those abs in, making sure they're not pushing out. And then you're going to reverse, go the other way. We got seven, six, hug those thighs together, five, four, three, two, and then go ahead and sit up, take a counter stretch. All right, same position. Wedge that ball behind you, draw your abs in. Think about squishing the ball with the core. Arms punch forward this time. You're gonna pull your right elbow back, left arm punches forward. Your legs are hugging together. Hips are not moving. Rotation is happening from the ribs. And then we pulse. Now what happens when we twist is our, right now the left rib is coming across towards that right hip. And we want to draw that right internal oblique in. Shoulders down, abs are still drawing in. That's the priority. Three, two, one. Bring it back to center. Grab your legs, counter stretch. And then we do the other side. Use your abs, squish your ball, arms punch forward. Left arm pulls back, right arm punches forward, and we twist. Little baby pulses. I'm barely moving here. But I'm focusing on the priority, which is the abs drawing in, not pushing out. <laughs> Shoulders are down, 10, 9. Hug those th thighs together. Having the block here is what helps to keep our legs stable. Activate those inner thighs, 3, 2, and 1. Sit up and counter stretch. <sighs> All right. Going into mermaid one more time. Legs swing over to the right, left arm down, shoulders down. Find your position <sighs> and little pulses. <sighs> abs drawing in, opening up the heart. Try to get less weight into that left arm, more engagement through your core. Smiling collarbones, soften your face. Try not to move your legs so much. Yeah, focus on the movement up here. Four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. Ooh. All right, find your position, knit up the ribs, draw the core in, and other side. Little pulses. I love this mermaid exercise because it helps to strengthen the side panels of our body. And those side panels, right, they run parallel to the spine. And when those side panels are nice and strong, it helps to hold our spine nice and strong. Less arm, more abs, please. Ten, nine, eight, you got this. Five, four, three, two, bring it up. Whew. Okay, we are going to do it again. So forward roll, legs out in front of you. We're going to repeat all of that one more time. Ball in front, inhale, sit up tall, exhale, nod the chin, scoop the abs in and roll forward. Now breathe into the back of the ribs, exhale, scoop your abs in. Now we're going to do little pulses here. And what I'm doing is I'm using my abs. I'm not using my arms here. I'm using my abs, pulling the front of the belly in. Inhaling into the back and sides of the ribs. My legs are active. The weight is staying in my sit bones. Ooh, and I'm pulling the front of the abs in the whole time. Seven, six, press your arms down into your ball. Five, four, pull those abs in. Three, two, and then roll it up. Counter stretch by lifting your heart. Okay, we got mermaid again. Swing those legs around. Ball on the whatever side you're on. You can do whatever side you're on you want first. Remember, we do do this exercise twice again. Abs in. Now, as we repeat these exercises, I want you to find a deeper way to connect. I find a deeper level of connection to that inner strength. Nine, eight, seven. Abs are tight. Five, four. Lighter on that arm. Three, two. Come on up. Counter stretch. Let's do the other side. Swing those feet around. Find your position. And here we go. It's just 30 seconds. You got this. You've done this before. Keep the front of those abs drawing in. Smiling collarbones. Less arm, more core. An active exhale is what you want. So making a little bit of sound, it could be like a, like a growl almost, or a, hmm, a humming sound, or a ha, whatever you need. Five, four, to draw it in. Don't push it out. And bring it back to center. Quick counter stretch. 
Okay, ball behind us, yoga block between the thighs. Take a breath, hands at the chest for this one. Exhale, squish your ball, energy through those legs. It's okay to straighten the legs if you need to. And we're gonna draw this mini baby circle with the rib cage. Now the whole time, abs are drawing in. Abs are trying to squish the ball. Hips are not moving. My movement is happening from my ribs and reverse, go the other way, 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, stay focused, you've got it. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit up, counter stretch. And we do it again. Exhale, stamping those abs in, arms punch forward. Pull your left elbow back, right arm forward. Keep those hips stable, pulse. Shoulders down. The hips do not move. The rotation is happening from the rib cage. Keep those abs in, 10, nine. Keep your right arm in line with your right leg. Look over that left shoulder. Four, three, two, and one. Back to center, grab the legs, sit up, and counter stretch. Other side, exhale, abs in, squish your ball, punch those arms forward, figure out what you wanna do with your legs, and now right elbow back, left arm forward. Left arm is in line with that left leg. Rotation is happening from the ribs. And you might even put a happy smile on your face, even if you're just faking it, because your workout is almost done. Ha, ah, feeling that burn in the abdomen, that's what we want. Inhale, rib cage, exhale, pull the front of those abs in. Nine, eight, seven, Five, four, you've got it. Three, I know, me too. Two, and one. We're going to sit up and counter stretch. And then we got mermaid one last time. So figure out what side you want to start on. Last round, best round. Here we go. Find your position. And pulsing. Drawing it in. Making sound with your exhale. Remember the relationship of your ribs to your pelvis. All in between from rib cage down to pelvis. This is all abs. Five, four, three, two. Bring it up. Go ahead and counter stretch. All right, swing those legs around. Let's do the other side. Almost there, guys. We almost did it. Woo, find your position. Here we go. Find something you can maintain. This is not about intensity here, right? This is more about consistency. How can you stay with it? How can you keep the core drawing in the whole time? Soften your face. Remember, we're trying not to move those legs so much. Try not to jerk it. We're trying to make it smooth and controlled. Five, four, three, two, and then give yourself a big counter stretch. Oh man, that feels good. All right, go ahead and release. Ooh, take an easy seated position. Grab your knees, lift your heart. Breathe into the front of the body. One more time, just lifting the heart, a little bit of extension. And then release. Take a hand to your heart, and if you want, the other hand can come to your belly. Give yourself a big smile. Tell yourself, thank you for showing up today. Thank you for taking this time for you. Take a big breath. Breathe into your belly this time. We can't hold those abs tight all the time. We don't want to be sucking the abs in. We need a breathing and moving core, and that's how we get stronger. So one more breath down into the abdomen. And you are complete. Thank you so much for sharing your workout with me today.